We're going to walk through my current setup that I use to create my YouTube videos. I'm going to go through all of my products and give you a bit of a list of what I'm currently using and go from there. All right, before I go ahead and start, guys, I do just want to let you know that everything I mention in my video will be in the description down below. Let's start off with the basics. My chair is just a generic chair that I purchased from Officeworks here in Australia. And my desk is the newest purchase that I have recently bought and it is a Lazy Mason's electric standing desk. It currently has four settings and you can also manually stand it up and sit it back down. I've currently got it to setting number one, which is sitting, but if I go ahead and press number two, it's gonna start standing up on its own. Now that's it fully standing. I absolutely love it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the right-hand side of the desk, but here is a quick overview of what's going on. On the right-hand side of the desk, we've got a lonely stream deck just sitting here. I haven't set her up yet. Um, just working out where I'd like to place that. I highly recommend getting a stream deck if you are a creator and just wanna set up some quick shortcuts to some of your folders that you've got. Got two tripods. Uh, this one here is just loose. I use this to stand my phone whenever I'm making reels or anything like that. So that one's just a loose one. And then we've got this one that I've just purchased because it actually um, extends the pole as well as just the tripod itself. Sitting on this is a Razer Kyo. I love this webcam. I use it in all my videos and highly recommend it. Moving on to my peripherals, my mouse, keyboard, and headphones. My current mouse is a Extrafy one, and I went for the old style colors just because it kind of looks like an old Windows PC mouse. It's been sort of on steroids. <laughs> The model for this one here is an XGM4 RGB and my cool mouse pad that looks like a mat. Moving on to my keyboard. I absolutely love this keyboard. It's a mini keyboard and it's a ducky tuxedo, I believe. Again, couldn't recommend anything else, although I do miss having a numpad. That's probably the only downside. Sounds absolutely amazing though. And moving on to my headset. So this is actually the HyperX uh, Cloudflight S gaming headset. Now, I these are my first ever sort of over the ears headset that I actually really like to use because of how, like you can just see how sort of cushiony these are and the top piece is actually really cushiony as well. The only downside with these headphones is, is they're starting to separate here just at the seam, um, probably because I wear them too much, but I have nothing negative to say about the sound. They sound freaking awesome. Moving on to my two huge monitors. Now, the specifications will be in the description because I cannot remember the size and things like that for the big one. So this is actually a Lenovo monitor and this one here is a Acer Predator. So that one there is actually I think 24 inches. This one's obviously a widescreen and it is curved. Now the reason I actually upgraded to a widescreen is because I used to have three 24 inch monitors and I just wanted to have everything on one main screen and then have a second screen that was for kind of I guess not priority windows if that's if that makes sense. So this one I use as my main and that is just where sort of YouTube, Discord, emails and stuff like that sit. Not to mention the cool freaking lava lamp. Moving on to the microphone. So my microphone is a Rode Podcaster. Um, I have nothing negative to say about this microphone. The only thing that would make this better is adding a pop filter, which I probably really need to consider, even though it does have a built-in pop filter in the, the top but that's probably the only negative thing I have to say about it. Now, I used to have the PSA, the Rode PSA 1 mic stand, but it completely snapped. It was maybe a couple of years old and it just completely snapped. That's why I've changed brands and I've changed to this brand, which is just Stadium. So I think this one was like 50 bucks um, and it's really done its job. I like it. Moving on to the beast we've got here. This is my computer. It was a semi custom built PC. It is a gaming PC and I will include all of the specifications in the description down below if you're wanting to know more about the PC. I have had this one for maybe 
five or six years now. I've only ever had two PCs in my life and I upgraded to this one quite a while ago now. So the only things I've had to change is the motherboard and CPU because it got fried somehow. Now, the only thing I also have to mention is I keep notepads everywhere. I write down my to-do list or write down anything I need to like write down, anything that comes to mind straight away that I just need to get out. And I also write my goals down and things like that. If you don't have a notepad or book or anything that you can just jot things down into straight away that isn't on the computer, I highly recommend physically writing stuff down because it's the mental and physical process of brain dumping. And if you were to go ahead and type it into a PC, it takes away the manual feeling of writing something down because typing is so quick our brain doesn't actually adjust to what we're removing, if that makes sense. So get some notepads. Well, I hope you did enjoy this video, guys. Um, I've wanted to make something like this for a while, just to share sort of how I go about my day making content with the things and equipment I own. Um, just a bit of an insight into my own life, which yeah, I've wanted to do for a while. So I really hope you enjoy today's video, guys. Like I mentioned at the start, all of the links to everything that I use on a day-to-day -day basis is going to be in the description down below.